when this is all filled in with mechanicals, we'll have ductwork on one side that goes straight up and out and feeds those bedrooms without having long runs. Hi, I'm Jake Bruton with Aero Building in Columbia, Missouri. And today we're back at our hybrid house. This is a house that we're building with Steve Basic of Steve Basic Architects out of Boston, Massachusetts. And today on The Build Show, we're going to talk about the thing that makes this the hybrid house. Uh, so this is a slab on grade home with a funny looking basement. So this basement actually runs the length of the house. It's 60 feet. The house is 60 feet, the living space above. Above us, we have laundry room, pantry, bathroom, kitchen, and bathroom. So if you're very observant, those are every single room in the house that has water. And then this basement's actually wider than that corridor of spaces above. So we have HVAC access for every room from down here. So when this is all filled in with mechanicals, we'll have ductwork on one side that goes straight up and out and feeds those bedrooms without having long runs. And then if we ever have plumbing issues, if we ever have a drain that we want to move, anything like that, we have full access down here. We don't have to worry about getting into concrete slab or anything up there. We don't even have to take up flooring up there. We can move it around down here, poke it back through, and patch one spot. So it's a really great intuitive design that gives us access long term. And a couple of the things that you can see down here, we can start with our slab. It looks like a traditional slab. It's insulated underneath with EPS. So we have a R20 dividing us from, or sorry, an R10 dividing us from that 50 degree ground temperature. That foam connects on the sides to this R-Max sheathing. This is a R13 product. Again, the delta T difference between here and out there, it's 15 degrees temperature, so we're not terribly worried about it. But all of this goes up and then connects to the subfloor insulation above. So we have this entirely insulated assembly that's continuous with vapor barrier and insulation from wall to wall, upstairs, in, down, and back across. And this, this design really kills it with the details because we're able to install the foam that's upstairs, mount the rim board down here, and then custom cut each stud because there's always a little movement in your, in your uh, subfloor, in your concrete floor. So, we're able to make that subfloor go perfectly flat all the way across up top just by the fact that things were drawn the right way on our plans, things were thought out beforehand, we talked with the architect, we decided on the best way to do this. So it's, it's another aspect of specifically this house, but the way we want to build where you're putting a little more into the plans, you're putting more into the planning, you're getting everybody on board to begin with, and we all have the same idea, and then execution is simple. and the products that we're using are simple and everything came from the lumber yard and we didn't have to special order things just to build a basement or something like that. And now we have one of the most efficient houses we've built with lumber yard products. So stay tuned for more from the hybrid house and me and Aero Building on the Build Show Network. Thanks.